water towers are made for hearts and names. Friday nights are made for football games. Falling leaves are made for Levi, I can't believe this day is finally here. The day we have talked about for years and I finally get to be your wife. I knew from very early on that you were the man I wanted to marry. You're going to be the best dad one day and I can't wait to witness that. Thank you for always being my shoulder to cry on, my biggest supporter, my personal driver, my grill master, and my best friend. I look forward to moving out to the country one day with you, Woods, Presley, and any other family members of ours. I promise to keep the kitchen stocked with mac and cheese and to always tell you the yard looks good after you mow. I promise to let you yell at the TV when your favorite team is playing and to always enjoy a good cruise down country back roads. You are the most wonderful person I have ever met and I am so thankful God chose me to be your wife. I am so incredibly in love with you and couldn't imagine spending life without you. Usually a home has four walls and a roof, but sometimes it has two eyes and a heartbeat. You are my home. I love you so much. Love your wife, Abigail. Or a song without a melody. I don't know where I'd be or what I'd do. Cause I was made for you. I'm ready. I'm so ready. Been ready. Smoky bars are made for how about a dance? Open roads are made for holding hands and laid back seats are made for young love. Two pink lines are made for growing up and I was made for you. Abigail. I've always heard people talk about marrying their best friend, and I've honestly always thought it was so cliched and just one of those things people say. I know for a fact that I'm not only marrying the love of my life, I'm marrying the best friend I've ever had. You've had a lot of different titles over the last five and a half years. Friend, co-worker, girlfriend, fiance, and now you'll be my wife. I'm sitting on our back porch as I write this, when I look around, I can't help but be emotional about the life we've already built and realize that we're just getting started. You've taught me so much over the last five and a half years. Like it's okay to be wrong, be quick to apologize, I don't need to yell at the TV when the Cardinals are losing in the second inning, and that not all clothes go in the dryer. But I know I still have a lot left to learn. I am so excited to one day watch you be as patient, kind, and loving to our children as you've been to me. From Michigan to Kansas to the beaches in Aruba, you are my favorite adventure. I promise to love you with every fiber of my being, and I cannot wait to grow old with you. I love you more than yesterday, and we've still got forever to go. Skies past the rain clouds in my eyes. There's music in your laughter from the floor up to the rafters. You're that happy ever after. I've been after my whole life. Ooh, Marriage is perhaps the greatest and most challenging adventure of human relationships. No ceremony can create your marriage, only you can do that. Through love and patience, through dedication and perseverance through talking and listening, supporting and believing in each other, through learning to forgive and learning to appreciate your differences, and by learning to make the important things matter and to let go of the rest. What the ceremony can do is to witness and affirm the choice you make to stand together as teammates and partners. celebrated our first year together and together still feels better than that first night we met I never dreamed that you could be so perfectly created girl he made a perfect angel and he made you just for me 
I, Levi, take you, Abigail, to be my wife, my constant friend and partner, and my love. I promise to always give you respect, love, and honesty. To support you through times of trouble and to rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you. I will encourage you to achieve all of your goals, laugh with you and cry with you, and grow with you in mind and spirit. I promise to stay by your side in sickness and health through the good times and the bad. I promise to love you today, tomorrow, and forever. I, Abigail, take you, Levi, to be my husband, my constant friend and partner in my love. I promise to always give you respect, love, and honesty, to support you in times of trouble and rejoice with you in times of happiness. I promise to challenge you and to accept challenges from you. I will encourage you to achieve all your goals, laugh with you and cry with you, and grow with you in mind and spirit. I promise to stay by your side in sickness and in health through the good times and the bad. I promise to love you today, tomorrow, and forever. And so now, by the powers vested in me, it is my honor to declare you husband and wife, you may now kiss the bride. I am pleased to present the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Porter. Touching down from the six nine hundred moon, sun kiss kiss, still drunk on love. Went from all inclusive margaritas in Malibu to praying we could pay. He comes up to me, uh, I'm in my driveway. He pulls in, nobody else is home, and he said, "You know, I, I need, I need to talk to you. Just, you know, I need to have a word with you." And I'm like, "Huh? She wants to have a word with you. Either somebody's." gonna die or, or or somebody's pregnant <laughs> and um or or it's the marriage thing and he gave me a, a very traditional heart you know from the bottom of the heart speech you know asking for permission to marry out it was really it was very cool and levi deserves a big hand for that your love is alive Port swing on Sunday, just as gentle as a summer sunrise. They say it's where the heart is, well, mine's with you, babe. Long as I got your hand, I'm fine. Could be a white brick and pick your fences, or some busted AC hotel room. It's all picture perfect if you're in. Farmhouse Polaroid kiss with a red soul sign.